Life coaches, mentors, and youth workers. Most of them is a waste of space. But before I get into that, let me get into this. So a man hit me up on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. He had been watching my videos and downloading them to use for future reference when he gets into the property game. Cool. So he recently turned 21, and the people that are around him, they can't teach him nothing. He feels like he needs guidance. But he's not into this online business. He asked me how to find a mentor in his local area. So I'm assuming my man's from up north, like Leicester or Manchester or something like that. So I'm like, wherever you're from, type in your local authority, your local area, your postcode and type in mentors, something should come up. He said, cool. So I'm like, but what's the reason for getting a mentor anyway, innit? You're like, give me a little briefing in that. What's your short term, what's your long term goal? So he told me his short term, told me his long term goal, cool. And then he added, ah, oh, he wants a mentor to hold him accountable. Now, it comes from a good place, but I don't like the fact that a man wants to request someone into their life to hold them accountable. We as people need to hold ourselves accountable. This is what's wrong with people, you know. I said to him, blood, what happens if that person drops dead? What happens if that person don't want to be your mentor or don't want to be a mentor? What's going to happen? You're going to revert. You're going to go back to square one. We as people need to hold ourselves accountable. We need to be doing things for the right reason, not because someone's going to get on to us. You think I'm out here on a legit thing, on the correct side of the law, not murdering, not gangbanging, not selling crack, not robbing banks, because, oh, I might go to jail. No, I'm out here on the legit thing, on the correct side of the law, because it's the right thing to do. It's not got nothing to do with me getting bad then, oh, I don't want to go back to jail or nothing like that. No. My job as a fucking human being is to be an upstanding member of the community. Someone that man can look at and be like, yeah, I'm going to aspire to be like that. Now, <laughs> this takes me on to my next point. I watch interviews and that with some rappers. And I know what these men are about. I know what their men they were about from back in the day. Come on, you should listen to it back in the day. And I know them, man, they're still on that same energy right now. And some of these men, they talk about, yeah, I'm a mentor and that. And I'm like, you, you are a mentor. Now, I ain't going to say no one's name, but there's certain men out here, like, they're still on the wrong path. And they have the audacity to feel like they can mentor young people. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is what's wrong with society. We're allowing the bad apples to make other people rotten. There's certain men who, they, they, they feel like they're, they're entitled to go and talk to the young people and I can't believe it. Like There's certain men out here feel like they're in a position to mentor young people. I'm like, no, fam. There's certain other men I watch, certain other rappers man watch talking about, yeah, I'm going to get into mentoring young people. Please don't. That's what I'm thinking. If if these are the people, then that's guiding the young people, the young people, them are fucked. They're fucked. They're fucked. Just like the youth workers. Man, man said this to you a lot, bare times before, innit? When I was 16, I uh, got nicked for some foolishness, whatever, innit? It got, not probation, but got um, youth offending team service, whatever, innit? Yeah. Yop, Y-O-T, innit? And I met some Greek guy, but English-born Greek guy, I'm from Edmonton and that, and obviously he's in my area doing the probation service and that. And he says to me, ah, oh, where he's from, the, that's where the real bad boys are from, South London. They don't talk, they just stab. And these are the men that's supposed to be guiding me. These are the men that's supposed to be putting me in check, telling me about, ah, oh, the boys in this area do this and do that. And come on, fam. Other youth workers as well. Gyal. There's certain gal out here, they're youth workers. But all of their boyfriends and their current boyfriend is a drug dealer. How the fuck, like, how the fuck can you be a youth worker, supposed to be guiding the young people them down the right path, but you're dating drug dealers? You are subconsciously saying that, oh, that behavior is all right. And I know there's certain gal 
when these young people come into the youth offending team service and that, and they're telling man about them stories and that, and the girls, he's just sitting there all gazy eyes and loving it, loving it. Because there's certain people, them, they ain't grown up. They ain't grown up. There's people, them, I used to see them, like, you know, like them youth workers, whatever, innit? So the people, them, that work at the youth club. But them, man, they're just, they're just road, man, that ain't fully grown up yet. That's it. The man is still, the, the mindset is still the same. Now, don't get it twisted. Me, I'm going to always be a man from the streets. You can't punk me, you can't bitch me or nothing like that. But I ain't out here doing foolishness. But some of these youth workers and that, some of them man there are doing nonsense. Told you already. I know, man. I met a man from my school in jail. You know that like one of them bad breed, why pitney them, who get kicked out in year eight? I bucked him in jail. Yeah, these times me and him's 18 and that. A man that I know is a youth worker, yeah? He was driving around this little white boy in the car as a youth worker and he's selling weed with the youth in the car next to him. But this is a true story, fam. I'm not making this up, fam. I'm not making this up. These people are full of shit, man. All these life coaches and mentors and that, most of them is full of shit. You got people out here who claim to be drug counsellors, but they have a fucking drug problem themselves. How the fuck can you be a drug counsellor, but you still got drug issues yourself? Now, don't get twisted. If you've been on drugs yourself before, oh, yeah, you're the perfect person to be a drug counsellor. But let's have a bit of time, sir, first, Cynthia. Let's make sure you've been off drugs for a good four or five years or something like that. Not, oh, I come off drugs last week, man escaped out of rehab last week, but now I'm here trying to get people on the... No, 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 no. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. You see most of these people, most of these life coaches, mentors and that, drug counsellors, you they're coaching their fucking self. They're coaching themselves. So you can only take what they say, what they say, take it with a pinch of salt, whatever. Yeah. Because most of these people, them is coaching themselves. Bare people on YouTube and that. Spitting this, spitting that, talking this, talking that. But they're not doing it themselves, you know. you got Gyal on YouTube claiming to be a dating guru. 300,000 subscribers and that. But they ain't had a fucking relationship in 10 years. Single like the number one. Other Gyal on YouTube. Again, trying to be like a dating guru for men and that. But they're calling that man in America, asking a man in America how to find a man. That don't even make no fucking sense. That's like me, Jay Wise, yeah? Make all these videos on YouTube and now, all 500 videos and that. And then I'm gonna call up fucking the Steve Harvey or someone like, yeah, man, oh, I just find it difficult to be a black person and make it out. Like, what? Most of the people, them, is frauds. Most of these people, them, is frauds. Most of them is frauds. So, all these people, them, mentor and that youth work and that you can't take most of these people them serious i'm telling you man the reason why they get into it is because they feel like if they put the energy out they will come back to them rather than fix themselves this is what i'm saying there's people out here they go around and they try and fix other people's problems instead of fixing the main problem which is themselves this is what's wrong with the black community talking about ah. Oh, we want to teach the police how to handle black people. No, why don't we teach black people how to conduct themselves? Why, why, why don't we teach black people to become the best version of themselves? If you are on the path to becoming the best version of yourself, you won't even worry, be worried about police brutality and getting stopped and searched by the police all the time and going to jail and getting nicked and that. You'll be too busy to be getting caught up. 100%. What they rather do, they rather go out and try and fix other people because they feel like, oh, they helping correct themselves or something like that. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but it ain't working. Ain't working. We as people need to fix ourselves, hold ourselves accountable. Nobody else. Nobody else. That's like you being given a million pounds, but you need a financial advisor to make sure that you don't spend that money stupidly. So what happens if that financial advisor goes on holiday for a few weeks or they just stop doing the job? What's gonna happen? You're gonna go bust. Funny enough, there are financial advisors out here. There are financial advisors out here who are in massive amounts of debt. Not like they're in debt because of a mortgage, 
or they took out a business now and then the business went bust. No, there's financial advisors out here, believe you me, who do not know how to fucking manage money properly. This is a real fucking figure. I'm not making this up. I watched fucking some prison thing. I like to watch stuff about like man in prison and that. As a fucking, yeah, as a, you know, as a deterrent, you know, like, yeah. Stay on the right path, Jay, just in case you ever go back to... Nah, I'm joking, but... I like to watch, like, prison stuff and that. And there's a guy who... He does, like, suicide watch in this jail in, in America. And he's walking around on the wing. This is, at, like, one, two, three in the morning, making sure people don't commit suicide and that. Because most of the men them in this jail, in this prison, are there for life. So, obviously, if you... Imagine, imagine you get 20 years in jail. Imagine that. Imagine a judge slaps you with 25... Yeah, a lot of people would be thinking, fuck, man, I'm going to go and jack it in. So he walks around on the wing and just checks on people and that, make sure they ain't killed themselves. Sometimes, obviously, it's just good to have someone to talk to or whatever, innit? So, boom. Funny enough, he was on Roman for murder. He got a G, he got found guilty. On the day that he got found guilty, obviously, he's supposed to be doing his suicide watch. He was banged up in his cell. He said, can someone check on me? For the next few hours because I'm feeling suicidal. This is the shit I'm talking about. What is the fucking point? Again, as I said, me, I preach about oh black people, stop complaining about the colour of your skin. It's not more difficult for black people. Yeah, it might be a tiny bit more harder, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not difficult for black people, nothing like that. But then in a couple months time you hear me chatting to Steve Harvey yeah man I just find it difficult as a black man I feel like there's a glass scene I feel like I have to work twice as hard for half the results man if you ever see that fucking unsubscribe to my channel but it ain't gonna happen because that would never happen never but I don't think like that I don't think like that but yeah people them hold yourself accountable don't be relying on someone else to pull you up and straighten yourself out you need to be your own coach you be your own mentor don't be relying on no one else. Stay wise.